Welcome to Titan Talk. I'm your host, Kabam Dork, here to talk shop with all you shopkeepers about our brand new update. We're sporting advanced research, crafting speed, and XP bonuses, and we got some bug fixes and a bit of QOL, quality of life for those of you that don't know, and it's all coming in our version 16 update that's bound to bring a brand new tier to your eye. <laughs> Well, actually, to your shop, because I'm talking about Tier 14. Let's get into it. First things first, Tier 14 is here. A whole whopping 38 blueprints are now available, and they're super valuable. Is there even enough space for these numbers? You might need a bigger screen. If you haven't fused all your research scrolls yet, hint, hint, look forward to the Cursed Sword of Durandal, the Tincture of Finality Potion, or the Hell's Gate Shield. Now, let's talk crafting. Whoa, these tier 14 crafting times sure are impressive. Thankfully, the city's workers have found a solution, advanced research. Upon reaching level 36, each worker will reveal a set of possible upgrades for their preferred item types. The upgrades are the same across all item types, with a few exceptions. And they allow you to improve craft speeds, surcharge energy costs, and merchant XP. With merchant XP in particular, it stacks so you can really supercharge your merchant levels. Now I know it might look similar to the talent tree, but don't worry, your precious talent points are not needed here. And we wanted to make sure that given enough time and investment, all advanced research can be unlocked, so you can go at your own pace. Also, we've got a new quest coming your way. Among the clouds lies Elysium, the domain of the gods, untouched by foolish mortals. Well, until today. And you'll face a brand new boss, the Avatar of Elysium. And of course, make sure to keep an eye out for the new Divine Chest and Divine Keys, giving you six new elemental blueprints. And there are also new components to craft those snazzy Tier 14 blueprints. Demigod Pinion, Heaven's Crest, and Divine Spark. Up next, we've got City Worker Visitors. We've had to make some changes to visitors that come from the city and sell items. They'll now be limited to the highest blueprint tier you've crafted, plus three. So if the highest tier you've crafted is five, worker visitors could bring bundles of items up to tier eight, provided you already own some. Also, it's no longer required for you to have crafted those items for them to be valid. Okay, now we do have a couple minor changes that are worth mentioning here. We made the bonus rewards from Dragon Invasion visible without needing to reach the grand prize. Also, Polonia can now loot items up to tier 11, up one from 10. And we reduced the amount of research scrolls required to unlock mid-tier blueprints from tier seven all the way to 10. All right, last but not least, here are just a few things you can look forward to beyond our version 16 update. Tier 14 enchantments. We've got a new set of elements, spirits, and stones on the way. Be warned though, some elemental barriers, namely Elysium, will increase to match those increased elemental capacities. Stay tuned for more information on that. Also, we're making some changes in how we display content pass slot rewards, like hero and crafting slots, so that it's clear to see which slot exactly is being unlocked. Okay, shopkeepers, that wraps up this episode of Titan Talk. We can't wait for you to get your hands on this next update, and we can't wait to see how you continue honing your crafts. <laughs> That's right. And don't forget to check us out on our social channels and on our Discord and on our web store. All those links are down in the description. And remember, happy shopkeeping. We'll see you next time. Cool,